What is up, guys? Pi Muffin here, and we are back with our SAO Rising Steel video. So, we have quite a few things to kind of go over here. Uh, first things first, I guess we'll go into the actual New Year's celebration uh, stuff here. I don't know if this Sinon's going to be a unit. Um, you know, because obviously there are a lot of artworks we've obviously seen that have just ended up being for home characters. I actually would love if this Sinon right here was a unit because uh, she actually looks really cute in that. Uh, so that'd be pretty dope. Um, but let's talk about everything that we've got here. First things first, free daily character scout up to 110 times. So up until New Year's, so from today till New Year's, we get our daily uh, 11 times thing. You know, where you just basically, you summon, you see if Kirito's face pops up, and if it does, you get to do another multi, and um, that's pretty much how that goes. And it seems like the closer we get to New Year's, the higher the chance that you're going to get more summons. Uh, so that's pretty cool. And then it looks like from the first to the third, a character scout will be held every day where you can get 11 times at the lowest, all the way up to 110 times. So that's the same thing there. So, what is that? That's six days... Plus another three. After uh, one four, free 11 times character... Uh, well, let's look at the thing here. So, from the 25th to the 31st, free character scout, New Year's countdown. From the 1st to the 3rd, free character scout, New Year's celebration, up to 110 times. Oh, okay. Up to 110 times. And then one four to one eight, free daily 11 character scout celebration. Okay, so... Why is this already, like, kind of <laughs> nicer than the anniversary? <laughs> oh, well. Uh, it is what it is. Uh, I mean, obviously, we had the up to 11 times during the anniversary. So, it's not actually better. Um, so, it looks like there's going to be a grade thing from the 20... So, starting tomorrow, from the 26th to the 31st, we're going to have the roulette thing where you can get a bunch of tickets. I'll probably stockpile all these tickets and then just use them all at once. Maybe I'll save them for, like, a video or something. Um, who knows? Uh, New Year's Celebration Countdown is going to be a guild stamp. Uh, so we get that on the first day starting on the first, and it goes for a full week. So the first, so the five days, uh, day one, guild stamp, day two, sacred arts manuals, day three, legendary materials, day four, roses, and day five, you get golden ticket scouts. By the way, these golden ticket scouts, it says October 2020, that means that's where... The, uh, I guess the featured units, or just the units in the banner, will be, uh, going up to. Um, the en new enhancement quests are available. We're gonna go over that in a second. New, uh, Cathedral Assault is up. I went over this last night. Um, or yesterday. Um, Story Event Adis, War of Underworld, Ghosts of War, and Shadow of War are going to become recurring starting on today. So they should be live in the game now. So if you weren't able to complete those quests, uh, you are going to be able to do that. Um, accessory crafting. Let's go over to the summons real quick. We'll, we'll go over the accessory thing here in a minute. So we have our usual one time freely. Freely? That's not even a phrase. But we're, we'll go ahead and we'll do these in video. So this is our single summon that we always have every single day. Not even going to bother. There you go. And then this. Do we have anything over here? No. Okay. So we have this. So it says, Celebrate New Year's with Daily Free Character Scout, where you can, in where the number of times you can scout increases as it gets closer to 1231. Okay. So it is the multiple uh, things. By the way, still no notice. You know, it's Friday morning and uh, still no announcement about a new banner. So I'm wondering if they're going to save until after the weekend because... Maybe everyone has off for the weekend or whatever, so they're not actually doing a banner till Monday. I feel like that's a very good case, or a uh, chance uh, of that being the case, but I guess we'll just have to wait and see uh, overall. Um, as you can see here, this free scout, whatever you want to call it, um, is now up to the Halloween Yuki, which is crazy, because we're only at Christmas and we already have the Halloween unit in here. So uh, we're going to we're gonna do this. So uh, Oh, so it's a... Oh no, so you get five scouts. Oh, okay, so the the amount of scouts you get increase. Okay, I thought it was going to be... Okay, I get it now. I'm not expecting anything on this first day because it's only five scouts. 
but uh, we'll let this run. So, so what, like tomorrow it's going to be like 10 scouts or something, and then it's going to go up from there? Okay, it was literally all <laughs> three stars, so that's not good at all. Um, okay, so that's cool there. Um, by the way, they did give out our, uh, there was like social media campaign rewards, so I didn't accept those yet. It was, uh, what was it? It was down here. It was these Almighty Evolution Crystals and then these 10, uh, tickets down here. So I guess we'll use these tickets since we're here. May as well. And so these tickets only still go up to, uh, these two right here, basically. Um, which I still don't have either of them, so if I got either of them, I would not complain. Um, it's looking like this might be a dud. We'll wait till, like, the third... Ooh. Oh, is that the, uh, that's the red one. Okay, we'll take that. Uh, very cool there. So that's an Imaginarium for, uh, that Shaita right there, so that's pretty cool. Alright. Last thing to kind of go over here, because obviously we don't have any news about the next event mm -hmm. or about uh, the next banner. So the only other thing to talk about is the new accessory uh, situation. So first things first, go over to the blacksmith. You should actually get a tutorial when you boot up the game. There was actually some kind of error. I guess it didn't get implemented until, like, the stages, the actual stages didn't get implemented until actual reset, you know, when you get your login, instead of two hours before that, when it's, when it's usually time for events to go live. Um, so it didn't even have me do the correct event. But you go over here, you're going to have either Roni or Ortiz showing up. By the way, they have new outfits as well. I would love for these to be units, too. Um, and it basically explains how the goldsmith works. Um, so you have to go over to do this. There's create accessory, uh, which obviously if you have the materials, you can make these different accessories. Um, accessory vigils. Uh, it's not going to be explaining any of this to us until we can actually uh, do it. So I guess first things first, let's head over to the enhancement. Qu so long story short, you know, I explained this in my breakdown of how these things work. You make these accessories, they have uh, slots where you can basically make vigils and abilities to put inside of the gear, basically, is the uh, long and short of it. So let's head over to Enhancement Quests. So you'll notice down here, you only get five turns. So I'm wondering if this is going to be just like all the stuff up here where you can do it, you know, you can reset it after it's already done. But we do have some new quests, which for your casual player, that's going to be exciting. You know, that's more diamonds to kind of farm here. So these are the ore fragments, so you're going to need these to make your accessories. I did not mean to back out all the way. And then we have the training room, which is actually where you can get the skills to actually put into um, your accessories. So that's pretty cool there. So I guess we'll, uh, we'll run the first stage of each and just kind of see how it looks. So I assume... I don't know if the color changes or if it's just, I guess we'll see. Because right here, all I see is, you know, I see blue, red, yellow. Okay, so it looks like it'll be two colors each day, probably. And it'll, like, switch between. Because right up here, you can see the, the types you need to kind of fight the stage are water and fire. So uh, I guess we'll go ahead and use water. Because if we use fire, we're going to be weak to the water units. Um, and if we use earth uh that's not gonna help us either so yeah let's you let's just use our water team and uh we'll just run through this real quick because it is only level 35 so it's not a big deal you're definitely i'm sure a lot of people are going to be excited to actually have a reason to use their uh ap uh or their stamina recoveries i'm not even gonna bother enhance voting because we should be able to one shot everything here Okay, maybe I should have enhanced moded. So we'll go ahead, we'll run through this and just see what kind of materials we get. I'm gonna assume there's only one stage. Okay, cool. Very happy to see there's only one because, uh... 
running through three waves would be kind of annoying, I feel like. I had to take care of the mantis right there. Okay, I thought there were three enemies, but apparently not. Alright, so as you can see there, we got some of our materials right there. Um, this is the stuff you're going to need to make and kind of enhance your accessories. So that's pretty cool there. And like I said, you can do this five times a day. Now we'll back out and go back in and we will do the other quest and we'll see if even if we can just make like something small after uh, doing the stage once. So this I don't it says non elemental. So I'm I don't think this will probably change colors because it's just skills. So let's switch to our non elemental team. Not like it really matters too much, but may as well. Oh, okay. So you can only... Okay, so this is how this works, basically. You run into this equipped with the accessories you're trying to boost uh, to get skills in. And then I guess they'll get the skills uh, when you complete the stage. So that's very interesting. Okay, so that's all we can do with that then. Let's go back to the goldsmith real quick. And Nope, not that. Can we make anything? What do we even need for these? So like this, for example. So we only have five of this and we have zero of that. So if we wanted to make... Uh, let's look for elements. So what? Blue was one of the ones. So the Lazarite ring. Uh, so we would need 24 of those. Uh, of these blue things. And then we need five of these. And then we'd be able to make this. It's nice to be able to make accessories. Because if you don't have enough of a certain color or whatever... Uh, I'm sure it's very hard to kind of do that. Um, these are all R3, and then I guess when you have it fully kind of enhanced up, um, you can smell... Well, you can smelt stuff, but uh, the accessory vigil will be how you uh, make it into... Yeah, 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 okay. So this is how you would make it into an R4 accessory. So uh, that's pretty much it when it comes to... Uh, it's pretty simple. You know, you make the accessory, you run into the mission with it. If you have a specific skill that you want to just move to a different piece of gear, you'll do the accessory smelting. It'll break down the accessory, but you'll get to keep the skill. And then there's the whole equip ability. So you would take that skill and just put it on whatever accessory you would want to put it on and then of course like i just said the accessory vigil is how you make your r3 once it's fully duped out into an r4 um so that's pretty cool there so definitely a lot of grinding that's going to be need to be done uh with this but uh i think that's pretty much everything to go over i'm really hoping within the next 24 hours we have news on the next upcoming banner um because i really would like to uh i guess uh summon for some of these other colors since I still need I don't expect non-elemental for a while because we got one we got during the anniversary but um for both wind water and fire I do want to get some active link units so hopefully we get a double hopefully we get like a new since it's already past Christmas we're not gonna get Christmas units obviously um but hopefully they have a new year's banner planned um for all we know this Sinon right here I doubt they just made this artwork for the Sinon just for the new year celebration you know picture right here so i expect she's either going to be the next free to play unit for january or i think she might be one of the next summonable units so it, i mean i wouldn't mind summoning for especially if she's dressed like this this kind of screams fire to me so uh if the if this sinon is a unit i could see her being one of the next fire units and it's her it's regular her uh like her in the outside world so, uh, who knows what she would... She's probably going to be a gun user if this is an actual unit, but I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Let me know what you guys think down below about all the new stuff in the game. Uh, pretty nice we're getting some free summons, you know, leading up to the uh, new year and beyond, as well as this new accessory system, which I'll definitely be uh, grinding up trying to make some good accessories for my characters. That's going to be it, guys. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more if you're new to the channel. I'll see you all next time. Have a wonderful day, everyone.